right, we're going to get started. All right, so coming to your back body, finding a nice, nice comfortable position. If you need to, please either put in chat or um, I mute yourself, come online, let me know if there's anything going on in your body that uh, needs to change. If something doesn't feel good, we can find a variation of the pose that feels better for you. So this is nice and slow, nice and soft. Even though we just came from a slow practice, it was more challenging, like a lot of planks. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so starting lying down, any comfortable position for you. I'm gonna put my Christmas socks back on. <laughs> hmm. and once you find a comfortable position on the floor taking a moment to soften so softening first in your face notice if you're holding any tension anywhere in your jaw See if you can relax and let go. So I invite you to imagine that you can soften both the inside and the outside of your ears and notice what happens to your upper jaw when you do that. And see if you can soften your shoulders. Notice your breath. Can you take slow, smooth breaths here? So while we go through today's practice, know that you can change the poses to any way that's going to feel good for you. I'll give you lots of options. Pick the variety that feels good for you in your body. So I invite you to bring your breath first into your diaphragm. As you inhale, your diaphragm expands. And as you exhale, diaphragm comes back in. Again, slow breaths here. And then we're going to move into a three-part breath. So inhaling into your diaphragm, that's your first part. And exhale slowly. I know that as we go through this breathing practice, if it feels uncomfortable for you, causes any kind of anxiety or discomfort in any way, come back to just your normal sensation, your normal breathing. <laughs> I'll find my words today. <laughs> so the second part of our three-part breath. First, breathe into the diaphragm and then into the lower rib cage, allowing it to expand out towards the side. And then exhale, lower rib cage, and then diaphragm. So at your own pace, inhale, diaphragm, lower rib cage. Exhale, lower rib cage, diaphragm. Continue here for a few more rounds.
And then whenever you feel ready, bring in that third part. Inhale, diaphragm, lower rib cage, upper rib cage, all the way up to the collarbone. Exhale, upper rib cage, lower rib cage, diaphragm. Again, inhale, diaphragm, lower rib cage, upper rib cage. Take in as much air as you can. And exhale, upper rib cage, lower rib cage, diaphragm. Continue here at your own pace. See if you can stay focused on your breath. I invite you to find two more rounds of breath. And then once that's complete for you, come back to your natural rhythm your natural breath. And then whenever you're ready, bringing some small movements into your fingers and toes. perhaps rolling around wrists and ankles. Okay, so from here, we're going to take a big stretch. Arms reach back behind you, legs come nice and long. So if it's comfortable, fingernails to the earth, Reach, stretch, legs away, arms away, push the backs of your thighs down towards the earth. And then exhale, soften all the muscles in your body. Let everything sink down towards the earth. Find a couple rounds of breath here. And then when you're ready, once again, reach the arms long, reach the legs long, backs of the thighs push down. Exhale, soften. Notice if you're holding tension in your face, soften your face. Soften your jaw, your forehead. One more time. Reach long, stretch. And exhale, release. Allow your body to sink down into the earth. Stay connected to your breath. Okay, so we're gonna find a banana asana here. Only go as far as you feel comfortable, especially you patty with a rib that's out. Maybe you're just going to move the legs rather than the whole body. So in our banana asana, we're gonna bring the arms and the head over towards the right side of the mat. Legs come over towards the right side of the mat as well. Again, Patty, if you need, keeping the upper body straight, whatever feels comfortable. I don't know, I'm not in your body, right? So find length here along the left side body and notice if Maybe you need a little more. So perhaps right hand grabs a hold of the left wrist to pull the arm over a little further. And if you're able to keep both hips on the floor, left ankle crosses over right. Soften your body down. Release any tension and just focus on the expansion of your inhales. 
and the coming back together of your exhale. Can you soften your shoulders, allow your hips to relax. Notice what's going on in your mind, any thoughts that you don't need, any negative self-talk, allow it to go with your exhale. Perhaps you imagine placing those thoughts on a cloud and watch the cloud slowly drift away. Any other thoughts that come up, place them on the cloud and allow them to drift away. You're going to find two more rounds of breath. And once that's complete for you, uncrossing your ankles, release your wrists, come back to center. Arms come down by your sides. Take a moment to notice any sensations. Notice the difference between the left side and the right side. No judgment. Just be aware. And then you take your time. Perhaps arms come back up overhead. We'll find that banana asana on the other side, allowing your um, upper body to come over towards the left side of the mat, legs to the left side, so you look like a C-shape or banana. And again, if you wish, maybe grabbing a hold of the right wrist to gently pull. Maybe the right ankle crosses over the left. Soften here. I think it was Pema Chodron that said, your mind is like the sky. Everything else is the weather. I may have to look that one up. So any thoughts that come into your mind is the weather. They're the clouds that pass through. Maybe some rain comes in, but remember it all passes. Allow it to go at its own time. There's no need to rush it or push it away. Acknowledge that it's there. And then when it's ready, it will go. Finding two more rounds of breath. And then once that's complete, releasing your wrist, your ankles, come back to center. Arms back down by your sides and notice. Do you maybe feel your blood flowing more freely through one side of your body? Or maybe you think I'm absolutely crazy and you don't feel anything. That's okay too, just notice. One more round of breath. And then placing both feet on the earth. Feet are about hip distance apart, knees are bent. And we're going to find a reclined figure four. So let's allow the right ankle to cross over the left thigh. 
I'm going to activate the right foot, so slightly curl back the toes. This will protect your knee. So perhaps the right hand comes to your right thigh to gently push the thigh away a little further. Maybe you stay here, maybe this is enough for you. Or perhaps you release the right thigh, allow the legs to come closer to your chest, and then reaching around for either the back of the left thigh or maybe the shin. Keeping the right foot active. And soften. Relax your shoulders. See if maybe they're creeping up into your ears. Allow them to come down towards the earth. Softening the place between your eyebrows. Taking deep inhales and long, slow exhales. One more round of breath. And then gently lowering your left foot to the earth. Okay, we're gonna find a bit of a twist here. So perhaps this um, right foot stays where it is or maybe you cross at the knees. Arms come out to the side either in a T shape or cactus shape and then Try this. If it doesn't feel comfortable, go the opposite direction. Legs drop over towards the right side. Some people feel more comfortable with knees opposite. If you need to come over the other side, totally fine. If this is uncomfortable for you, maybe you stack your knees instead. What feels good for you in your body today? Perhaps you look over towards the left to deepen the stretch just a little bit more. One more round of breath. And then gently bringing your legs back to center, uncrossing your knees. We're gonna find a little bit of a moving bridge before we come over to the other side. So arms are going to come down by your sides. Feet are as close as you can comfortably get them, about hip distance apart. And whenever you're ready, pushing your feet into the earth, lift your hips. Squeeze your inner thighs, and then on your exhale, gently lowering your hips back down to the earth. Continue moving here at your own breath. Inhale, hips come up, and exhale, hips lower. Take your time. Perhaps you add the arms. Inhale as the hips come up, arms reach up back behind you, and exhale, arms come back down by your sides. So let's find three more. All right, and once you have completed those three, take your time, there's no rush. Bringing your feet mat distance apart and windshield wipering your knees from side to side. Releasing any tension you may have in your low back.
And then walking your feet back towards each other, a hip distance apart. And this time we're going to cross the left ankle over the right thigh, activate the left foot. Perhaps the left hand comes to the left thigh to push it away. If you wish for a little more today, maybe bringing the legs closer to your chest, reaching for the right thigh or the right chin. And allowing your shoulders to drop. Notice what's going on with your breath. Perhaps you're able to slow down your breath just a little bit more. Allowing the breath to be smooth and steady. Notice how it feels as you breathe into this pose. Maybe things start to shift. As one layer of muscles start to soften, and maybe you feel the sensation moving a little deeper into your body, into another set of muscles, another layer. After two more rounds of breath, lowering your right knee to the earth. Right knee, I'm sorry, right foot. <laughs> Keeping your knees in this figure four position. So again, maybe this foot stays up by the thigh or maybe you cross your knees, arms out in cactus shape or T shape, allowing the legs to drop over towards the left or if you already went to the left, go to the right. Perhaps you look over towards the right side. Notice if there's any tension anywhere. Perhaps you send your breath to that part of you, allowing you to soften just a little bit more. Two more rounds of breath. Then once that's complete for you, legs come back to center. On crossing the legs, winch or wiping the knees from side to side. Okay, gently bringing your feet back to hip distance. We're gonna find some movement here for our shoulders. Arms reach up towards the sky. And then bending your elbows, grabbing a hold of um, opposite elbows, creating kind of like a window here with your arms. On your exhale, allowing your arms to drop over towards one side. On your inhale, arms coming back to center and exhale, arms drop over towards the other side. And just moving with your own breath, inhale to center and exhale over. Notice what your body wants to do. What does your head want to do? Does it want to follow your arms or turn the opposite direction? 
What does your lower body want to do? Do your knees want to be together? Does that feel more supportive for you? Do your knees want to rock in the opposite direction from your elbows? So the only way this pose is wrong is if it hurts. <laughs> so whatever feels good for you. Let's go one more time in each direction, inhaling to center, exhaling over, inhaling to center, and exhale over. Bringing your arms back to center, releasing your arms down by your sides. Noticing the sensations that you feel in your shoulders. Softening your shoulders. Release any tension. Come back to your breath. And then whenever you're ready, we're going to find that movement again. So arms come up towards the sky, grabbing a hold of opposite elbows. Whatever you do automatically, changing the cross of your arms. So whichever arm is in front becomes the arm that's behind. And once again, exhale arms over to one side, inhaling to center and exhaling over to the other side. Again, find any movement with the rest of your body that feels good. And notice if there's a difference. Does it feel different in your shoulders with your arms in this opposite direction? Continue moving here, take your time. One more time in each direction. Once that's complete for you, arms come back down by your sides. Okay, so we're gonna come into a recline butterfly. So know that if you need anything around you, uh, blocks, blankets, any kind of props that you may have to place underneath your knees, feel free to grab them. If you don't have anything with you, it's okay. We can just make adjustments here um, that are a little different. So feet come together, knees come wide. So if it feels like this is too much and you don't have any props here to place underneath your knees or underneath your hips, perhaps walking, maybe bring your feet back up first, walk your feet down a little bit, and then again, feet together, knees apart. And then I invite you, if it's comfortable, to bring your arms up overhead, fingernails to the earth. If this doesn't feel good for you, maybe arms are in cactus shape or a T, bringing the arms overhead and just allow them to soften. Allow the shoulders to sink down. Notice your breath. Can you bring more air into your body with your arms up overhead? Can you perhaps return to that three-part breath if it's comfortable for you? If not, just deep inhales, long, slow exhales. Three-part breath, breathe into the diaphragm, low rib cage, upper rib cage. Exhale, upper rib cage, lower rib cage, diaphragm. Maybe it's just breathing in your diaphragm. Can you soften in your hips? OK, 
can you allow softening in the back of the head, allow it to sink down towards the earth. Soften the neck, your shoulders. Notice what's going on with your mind. If your mind has wandered, perhaps you label it for what it is. So maybe it's a sound that gets your attention. Try not to identify it. Just label it as sound and then come back to the sensation of your breath. Can you bring your awareness back, making some small movements in your fingers and toes? Maybe you bring your arms back down by your sides if they're overhead and slowly release your legs, let them come along. Take a moment to check in. Notice the sensations in your body. Notice your breath. Maybe you need to make movements, that's totally okay. Okay, and then whenever you're ready, both feet come to the earth, knees are bent. Rolling over towards one side, whichever side is calling for you. Take a moment here to just notice where you are. Notice your breath. And then using your hands to help you slowly come back up to seated. And in our seated pose, let's, um, so I want you to find anything that's comfortable for you here. So maybe it is easy seated pose, um, crisscross applesauce, <laughs> um, or whatever's comfortable. Maybe legs are out long. Okay. We're going to find some seated cat cow. So rounding your spine, tucking your chin, tucking your tailbone. And then moving in the opposite direction, shoulders roll back and down your spine, open your heart up towards the sky. And just moving with your own breath, see it where it's more comfortable to inhale and where it's more comfortable to exhale. And as you roll your shoulders back and down, heart reaches up high. Imagine there's a string pulling your heart up towards the sky. Continue moving at your own pace. Finding Two more rounds of breath. And then gently making your way back to center. Okay, we're going to come into a low lunge. Um, so if you need to, either fold in your mat um, underneath your knees, maybe it's folding the back of the mat forward, or maybe using the back, or sorry, using a blanket. So sorry, what I mean by folding the back of the mat forward would be, or I guess forward, beginning on the front of the mat back. Oh my goodness. Okay, like this. <laughs> okay, whatever's comfortable. 
All right, tabletop pose to begin. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Let's bring the right foot forward between the hands, however it's comfortable to get it there. So we want to stack the right knee over the right ankle. And then pushing the right foot down towards the earth. The four, find the four corners of your feet and then push the shoelace portion of your left foot down towards the earth. Notice what's going on here in your body. And then if it's comfortable for you, maybe bringing your hands up to your thigh, right thigh. Push into the thigh to help you come up. Send the tailbone down towards the earth. So almost a slight tuck here of the tailbone. Soften the shoulders. Okay, and then sink, settle, release. Release the tension. Feel the stretch here along the front of the left thigh. Find your balance. <laughs> Find one more round of breath. And then bringing both hands down towards the inside of the right foot. We're going to walk the right foot over towards the right side of the mat. You want to keep your right foot active here. So slightly curling back the toes. Staying here for a few rounds of breath. And then turning your toes out towards the right side. So just a little movement. Foot turns to the side. Perhaps you stay here or maybe you walk your hands over towards the right or sorry left side of your mat. Maybe it comes off. Go as far as you feel comfortable. Keep the right foot active. Find your breath. Gently walking your hands back to center. And we're going to come into a tabletop pose. And then make your way over to the other side. Left foot comes forward. Stacking the left knee over the ankle. Pushing the left foot down towards the earth. Shoelaces of the right foot push down. Find your breath. Feel that activation in your legs. And then maybe you squeeze your inner thighs, brings your, bring your hands to your left thigh. Come on up, shoulders relax. Find a couple breaths here in this active variation of the pose. And then exhale, sink and settle. As long as your knee doesn't go past your toes. Maybe you need to adjust your stance if it does. And whenever you're ready, hands come down to the earth, inside of the left foot, walking the left foot over towards the left side of the mat, activating the left foot. Take a few rounds of breath here. And then turning the toes towards the left side. Again, either staying here or walking the hands over towards the right side. Maybe your hands come off the mat. Keep the left foot active and see if you can settle into this pose.
Let's find one more round of breath. And then slowly walking your hands back. Come back into your tabletop pose. And we're gonna find a child's pose. Big toes together, knees apart. Sitting your hips back. So I'm gonna give you some options here for this child's pose. Maybe the arms come long, soften the arms down towards the earth. Or if it feels better for you, maybe hands come back by your feet, palms face up towards the sky. Allow your shoulders to drop. If your head doesn't come all the way down to the earth, maybe placing a block or folded blanket, or maybe it's two stacked fists underneath your forehead. And soften your chest, allowing your heart to melt down towards the earth. Find your breath. Your mind is like the sky. Anything else that comes in is the weather. See it come in and then see it go on its own time. Let's find two more rounds of breath. And then making your way back up into your tabletop. And then very slowly and mindfully, come on down onto your front body. Take your time. All right, so crocodile pose. Hands come underneath your forehead if that's comfortable for you, or maybe it's uh, chin to your forehead. If that's where you'd rather be. Legs come wide on the mat, toes point out towards the sides. And just soften here. Nowhere to go, nothing to do, nowhere you need to be, and nothing you need to change. Finding two more rounds of breath. And then gently bringing your feet back towards each other. So everyone's a little different here for this pose. We're, we're going to come into a sphinx pose. So some people feel more comfortable toes together, um, heels apart. Maybe feet are about hip distance. And we're going to bring our shoulder, hmm, forearms to the earth. Elbows come underneath, underneath the shoulders. My brain is moving a lot faster than my mouth, so my mouth is trying to keep up. Okay, shoulders roll back and down the spine. Push the tops of your feet down to the earth. Push away from the earth. Push into your arms. Lift your heart. Try not to look up. Perhaps you look down, maybe a few inches out in front, energetically pulling your arms towards you. So arms are gonna stay where they are, but pull them towards you. Find your breath. If it feels comfortable for you, maybe you allow your chin to come down towards your chest. Let your head hang. And then softening the legs. If it feels like you have just dumped all that weight into your low back, again, push your feet into the earth. Lift your knees. 
and perhaps just soften through the head. Whenever you're ready, gently lowering down towards the earth, bending the knees, windshield wipering the feet from side to side. Allowing your feet to come down towards the earth. All right, you're gonna be backwards in on your mat. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the back and the front have just changed spots. Rolling over onto your back. Let's find a happy baby pose. So feet are going to come up towards the sky. Knees are bent. Knees out towards the sides of your body, grabbing a hold of either the backs of your thighs, maybe somewhere on the lower leg, maybe it's somewhere on the feet. Activate your feet here, curl back your toes. Wherever you are, soften your shoulders. And perhaps you rock. Maybe you play with your happy baby, maybe you extend one leg. And then the other. Whatever feels good for you here in this pose. Soften your shoulders. Relaxing your jaw. Find your breath. One more round of breath. And then gently releasing your feet down towards the earth, knees are bent. All right, so last pose here. Let's bring the right foot up towards the sky. Leg is as straight as you can comfortably get it. Maybe you have a bend in your knee. Maybe you bend your knee a lot. See if you can grab a hold of your right leg somewhere, either the pant leg or the back of the thigh. Keep the right foot active and gently pull the leg closer to your chest. Okay, so maybe you stay here or maybe you let the left leg extend long on the earth. Listen to your body, only go as far as it feels good. No pain in yoga. <laughs> and then soften your shoulders, soften your jaw, relax your inner and outer ears. Or at least imagine that you can. Whenever you're ready, bending your right knee, bringing your right foot down to the earth, knee is bent, and then extending the left leg up towards the sky, activate the left foot again, as much of a bend in that knee as you need, grabbing a hold somewhere on the left leg, gently pulling the leg towards you, perhaps extending the right leg long. Soften and breathe. Finding one more round of breath. And then gently bending the left knee, allow the foot to come to the earth. 
right foot comes beside the left and both knees are bent and if it feels good for you maybe hugging both knees in towards the chest maybe you rock from side to side or if you don't have any neck issues perhaps you tuck your chin in towards your chest find a little ball And gently release here. So Shavasana, what variation of Shavasana feels best for you and your body? Maybe it's legs out long, arms out to the side. Maybe you're on your side body, on your front body. Perhaps you find some blankets or blocks or whatever to support you, maybe under the knees. If you feel like you have low back discomfort and you don't have any props, I invite you to bring both feet to the mat. Feet are about mat distance apart, knees come together. And then closing your eyes if that feels comfortable for you. Return to your breath. Deep inhales in through the nose. And long, slow exhales out. And focus your attention for a moment to moment on the movement of your breath. Notice the subtle sensations of the movement of your body as you breathe in and as you breathe out. As you focus on your breath, you will notice thoughts and sensations appear. Sounds, smells, Maybe sensations in your body, feelings and emotions, perhaps thoughts. These thoughts and sensations are just background noise. If something other than your breath grabs your attention and pulls you away, or it causes some kind of desire or discomfort to appear. Try to focus on that distraction for a moment or two, labeling it as what it is, thought, smell, sound. Try not to identify what it is, just label it. and come back to the sensation of your breath. being present with the sensation of your breath. Feel its quality, shallow or deep, quick or slow, no judgment. Perhaps you're able to soften a little bit more, just 10% more. And maybe you slow down your breath just a little bit more. And 
labeling your thoughts or distractions, any senses that come up, label them for what they are and return to your breath. You are the sky. Everything else is just the weather. I invite you to bring some small movements into your fingers and toes. Perhaps rolling around wrists and ankles. Making any movements that help you gently bring your awareness back. So if you wish, you can stay here on your back for a few more minutes or if you're ready, coming up to seated and once you get there, lowering or closing your eyes. and taking deep inhales and long, slow exhales. On your inhales, I invite you to inhale peace, love, kindness, and self-compassion. On your exhales, maybe you send that out to the others in the group, maybe to someone in your house, in your city or somewhere in the world. The light in me sees and honors the light in both of you. That light is a place of peace, love, kindness, and compassion. When you are in that place in you, and I am in that place in me, there is no difference and no distance between us. Together we are the same. We are one. Thank you for joining me today. Have a beautiful evening.